Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are going to be reacting to Total War Pharaoh, the announcement trailer. Now, if you think this video is going to be all happy and hypey for this game, I can tell you exclusively right now before we get into it, it's not. So don't get butthurt and salty when I'm butthurt and salty about this game. I'm going to be trying to lay down some home truths. And honestly, CA, I don't care if I'm blacklisted because I'm too small to even be listed. So I can say what I want. I don't need to be nice to you, okay? I don't need to be nice. Can't get blacklisted if you're not listed in the first place, boys. So <laughs> let's get into it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to shit all over it, okay? <laughs> so let's start. Here we go. Sky! Wow. Fantastic. It's a beautiful looking sky, I've got to say that. And the pyramids, doesn't it look beautiful? But what are we going to be shown? What is next on our journey? It's a fucking dung beetle. It's a dung beetle. Wow. Come on, the boys, let's go. Yeah. Honestly, I really, really love the beetle. Do you know why? Because it's a visual representation of how CA makes their historical Total War titles. Or at least they have done for the last few years. So I think it's fantastic. And I, the first time I watched this, I was laughing so hard at that analogy. You know, laughing at my own joke, which... Not embarrassing at all. But anyway. So. So this is when they're making the battles, you know. It's a bit of a storm. That's the hurdle of pre-orders. Oh, wait. They got over it. Nice. There we are. Oh, shit. That's Paradox. Paradox has just come and gone. Bang. Take some of that. Because we all know Paradox at the minute, is the GOAT of uh, of grand strategy games. I mean, yeah, Victoria 3 is, is pretty mid, and Imperator Rome is, is not great. Although I've, I've heard good things about it. It's, it's okay now, apparently. But we all know Paradox is just smashing it out of the park with a lot of the things they're doing for some of their other games. <sighs> God damn it. Oh, damn, that's C8. C8 has, has absolutely bombed Paradox. Oh, no. Maybe Paradox are going down the same road as them. Damn, good shot, bro. Whoever fired that, good shot. Now, obviously, the graphics are fantastic. Uh, although it didn't say at the start it was game engine footage, so of course we can't really take anything from that. I do like looking around here. Just get rid of that. I do like looking around here. You know, the sand uh, blown over a lot of these uh, bodies and all that sort of thing. He's, uh, you know, miraculously un... Uh, not very dirty or got any blood on him or anything from fighting in the battle. And for some reason in the middle of the battle he takes time to look at this little beetle. Um, that's going to get you killed, bro. That's going to get you killed. So, massive army on the way. Of course, if it's not game engine footage, we really can't take much from it. It's just a hype machine, this, this trailer. Trying to be a bit of a hype machine. Not sure what they were trying to achieve with a dung beetle. Someone, someone's actually, someone's going to be in the comments right now saying, actually, it's a, a blue uh, winged scarab, uh, not a dung beetle. I don't care, it's a dung beetle, okay? It's literally rolling dung. And he elevates this beetle. So if that is the visual representation of CA right now, He's getting lifted into the sky like Simba. Oh, glorious. I love it. Oh, 
So this is quite interesting here. If we look a little bit closer, like, what are these massive, massive uh, sort of uh, poles? They're almost like uh, Napoleonic eagles. So anyone who knows a lot about Egyptian warfare and history, let me know down in the comments below. You know, was that a common trait of the time to carry around, you know, your eagle sort of banner or your, your banner, your battlefield banner with the gods on, I guess? Oh, yeah. Wow. Now, from my understanding, this is a historical title. And if that's the case, uh, th there's really no words, honestly, to put in how to say how disappointed I am. How many people out there were expecting a Medieval 3? How many people wanted a Medieval 3? How many people wanted an Empire 2 or a Napoleon 2 that potentially, you know, combined the map of Empire into it? How many people even wanted a Shogun 3? <sighs> even a Rome 3, I've heard that thrown around. Never did I hear anyone say they wanted Total War Pharaoh. Now, maybe I've been hanging around the wrong circles, but the circles I've been hanging around in are classic Total War lovers. And in any of those conversations, <laughs> I never heard mention of a Total War Pharaoh. Oh, it's, it, it's honestly painful. It is painful to, to someone who really likes the old games. And I would say that I don't look at them through nostalgia-tinted glasses in a lot of cases. I genuinely have, good, like, have arguments as to why those games are better. You know, the province system, in my opinion, it just doesn't work. It's not good. There's no depth to it. What they're trying to do with the province system is force you into specializing your cities. Not realizing that in the past, you know, until you were very late game with the building system that you could build whatever you wanted with, you know, tens of different buildings, you were forced into specialization there anyway, especially when you talk about mods. You know, you couldn't just build one of everything because it'd be a pointless city. You want to get some population growth. You want a bit of sewers. If we talk about Rome, Rome Original, for example, or Rome Remastered, get a bit of sewers for some population growth and happiness. But your military cities are going to have a very different makeup of buildings compared to some of your other cities, your more economic cities, where you might be trying to reduce corruption with an execution square or build ports or build paved roads. So the province system... It just doesn't work, in my opinion. It's not good. It's really not good. And it hasn't been good since it was introduced. Um, the engine. Let's talk about the engine. Let's talk about the engine. I don't like the engine in the new games. And I'm sorry, I don't like it. I think the battles feel way too arcadey. Way too streamlined. Not complicated enough. Not slow enough for you to be able to do anything tactically. Now, I'll tell you one game that I love, that I absolutely love, that's not that popular among many players, is Napoleon. And I'll tell you why. Napoleon Total War's multiplayer is one of the best multiplayers in Total War history, if not the best. And the main reason for that is engagements last for ages. And they not only last for ages, they allow you to disengage, and they allow you to come back. And they allow you to do many different things tactically that drag out the battle and allow different maneuvers all around the battlefield. Now, in all of the modern Total War games, I have never once felt that. Pretty much once you're engaged, you're done. How are you going to disengage and come back when a battle lasts two and a half minutes, three minutes? And I appreciate Rome, Total War, and Medieval 2 could have pretty fast battles as well. But in my opinion, they, they didn't feel anywhere near as arcadey as some of the, the modern games. Um, that might be nostalgia tinted glasses there. Let me, down in, uh, let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, Mr. Cherry, what do you think of the trailer? Fucking shit. Well, you heard what Mr. Cherry said. Yeah, that is my opinion as well. Um, 
Next video, we're going to go through the facts and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about more in my disappointment uh, with this game. So we'll talk about the facts and have a look at those and we're going to go through them in the next video. But for now, guys, please do like, please do subscribe. If you don't subscribe right now, I'm going to put you in Total War Pharaoh and you'll be living an eternal nightmare. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. CA, don't blacklist me. Please.